Hello everyone, welcome to yet another lecture series on basics of electrical engineering. In this video, we're going to see the behavior of a series RC circuit connected to an AC supply. So let's get started. Series RC circuit. In order to understand series RC circuit in a better way, we need to understand what happens when an AC supply is connected to a resistor separately, ind inductor separately and a capacitor separately and what happens when an AC supply is connected to a series RL circuit as well. So all of those four videos are already uh, discussed previously and the link will be provided in the description in case you have not watched that please do watch it and continue with this video so that you will get a clear understanding of how series rc response can be understood so uh, we are going to see various parameters uh, such as phasor diagram the impedance associated with it the current uh, the waveforms associated with the uh, series rc circuit the power flowing that is the active power the reactive power the power triangle with respect to series rc circuit and the power factor associated with it as well so uh, let's get started uh, we will be uh, drawing few conclusions from our previous videos. So one of the most important aspects is uh, with respect to Ohm's law, we know the potential difference across a resistor in the circuit. Vr is equal to I into R. So the voltage drop across resistor is indicated by Vr and voltage drop across capacitor is Vc. I is the current flowing through the circuit. So uh, similarly uh, with respect to Ohm's law, potential difference across the capacitor Vc is equal to I into Xc. Xc is the impedance offered by the capacitor. This is already derived in uh, our previous videos. So once this is done uh, one of the uh, most important conclusion is uh, for a pure resistor both current and voltage will be in phase with respect to each other this is again uh, discussed in our previous video so this implies that vr bar is in phase with respect to i bar so the reason why it is indicated with bar is that it is a phasor quantity so there is a very clear difference between a phasor quantity and a clear magnitude voltage if you are representing vr it is different from vr bar so be very careful with the terminologies so for a pure capacitor current leads the voltage by 90 degree so this is also discussed in our uh, previous videos when an ac supply is connected to capacitor what happens to the connect current so these two important conclusion will help us get started off with our analysis uh, with respect to series rc circuit so can we conclude vc lags behind uh, the current i bar by 90 degree because i is leading vc isn't it so i is leading vc in the sense vc lags behind current i bar by 90 degree two important conclusion if you observe only based on these two observations we will be able to derive a lot of parameters and study various responses so as a conclusion can we write v bar is equal to vr bar plus vc bar this is according to kvl that is algebraic sum of emfs in a closed loop is equal to zero so in other words we can write v bar minus vr bar minus vc bar is equal to zero if we bring it to the uh, lhs side but uh, since uh, this can be uh, bought into the rhs side so we are representing v bar is equal to vr bar plus vc bar this is according to kvl so this is also another important conclusion based on these three important relations we will be able to understand all the other parameters here so let's get started so phasor diagram our first uh, and foremost important thing is how to draw the phasor diagram so this is one of the most commonly involved confusions with respect to students so it's very very simple uh, you don't have to scratch your heads for this so there are few steps based on that i'll be showing you how we can draw the phasor diagram first step is to uh, uh, draw take a reference so since the same current flows through the series circuit as i already mentioned in uh, my previous videos current in a series circuit will remain the same so i bar is taken as a reference so i'll be representing uh, a reference i bar in this particular uh, direction horizontal direction i am taking the reference so next step is to draw vr bar in phase with ir bar i bar this is because vr is in phase with respect to i this is already discussed in our previous slide so i will be representing vr bar in phase with respect to i bar Similarly, uh, draw VC uh, such that it lags behind I by 90 degree. So uh, in our previous slide, we spoke that the voltage lags behind current by an angle equal to 90 degree. So I am drawing VC bar in this direction, which is 90 degree. So since it is lagging, it will come uh, in the lower direction. If it is leading, it will come in the upward direction. So uh, it is 90 degree because it is perpendicular with respect to each other. So I am representing it by VC bar. Once this is done, adding VR bar and VC bar by uh, triangle law of addition, we'll be able to uh, determine the value of V bar. That is V bar is equal to, I'll be closing this in a form of a triangle. Uh, so you will be uh, representing it by V bar. So mark the angle between I bar and V bar as equal to phi, phi bar. So I will, not phi bar, it is phi. So I'll be representing phi as the angle between V bar and I bar. So from this, can we conclude that voltage V bar will be lacking behind I bar? If you carefully observe, uh, 
uh, i is leading uh, in co in uh, comparison with v bar because v bar is in lower direction so usually this direction is considered lower and this direction is considered upward so if v bar is in this particular direction v leads high but in case of this v lags behind high so uh, we can uh, conclude with a voltage triangle so if you only take this portion of this with respect to the voltages that are there we can write it in this particular fashion isn't it so this is very important in power factor uh, relationship so that is why i am introducing this uh, uh, factor called as a voltage triangle so this is very important uh, so please do make a note of it so apart from this one of the most important conclusion from this uh, phase diagram is that i leads the applied voltage v by an angle some somewhere between 0 to 90 degree that is if you carefully observe if this is the 0 degree and this is the 90 90th degree the 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 voltage wave from v bar is somewhere between 0 and 90 degree and that's the reason why we'll be representing i leads applied voltage v by an angle equal to 0 to 90 degree so this is one of the most important uh, relationship and this is how we'll be drawing the phase diagram isn't it very simple so if you have any questions uh, feel free to reach out so once this is done our next concept is uh, the impedance so impedance offered by the circuit as i already mentioned uh, in our previous slide v bar is equal to vr bar plus vc bar that is according to kvl so we can we represent vr bar as i into r bar that is uh, uh, shown in our first slide and uh, vc bar as minus j into xc into i bar the reason why it is minus j many of them have this confusion as why is it minus a so it is based on the voltage and current relationship in case of an inductor voltage leads the current by an angle equal to 90 degrees so we'll be representing it as plus j in case of a capacitor the voltage lags behind capacitor by an angle equal to minus a as a result we'll be representing it as minus a xc into i bar so this is one of the most important things you will be able to derive anything but an analytical vision of how this can be uh, understood uh, why is it plus j and minus j is very very important so i'll be representing Presenting it as minus j xc into i bar now what i'll be doing is i'll be taking i bar common throughout and r minus j into xc i'll be writing it in this particular fashion and once this is done i'll be taking i bar into the denominator term so v bar by i bar is equal to r minus j xc will remain this so this is the impedance offered by a capacitor rc series rc circuit so this is labeled as the impedance z bar so z bar basically any phasor will have magnitude and uh, the angle with respect to them so z bar is represented as z at an angle of minus minus phi because phi is lag uh, uh, if you associate it with respect to current and voltage uh, voltage is lagging behind current by an angle equal to minus 5 so it is in the negative direction so as a result it is represented as minus phi so we will be finding the magnitude z and the phase angle phi so magnitude z is given as square root of r square plus xc square this is based on your pythagoras theorem as well you can represent it in this particular fashion so square root of r square plus 1 by omega c whole square so xc is equal to 1 by omega c that is derived in our previous video so please do watch it in case you've not so phi is given as tan inverse of uh, xc by r uh, so you'll be right, representing it as tan inverse of 1 by omega rc so once this is done uh, the quantity z bar over here that is there is called as the complex impedance of the rc circuit so this is a important conclusion that we'll be drawing so very important thing is the magnitude of z bar is given by this formula phase is given by this formula and z bar is equal to r minus j into xc these are very important for analyzing any circuit and as well as solving any problems related to it and next concept is with respect to uh, impedance triangle so uh, as it is clear z bar is equal to r minus j into xc bar the magnitude is nothing but square root of r square plus xc square according to pythagoras theorem so z can be considered as the um, hypotenuse and r can be considered as the adjacent and xc can be considered as the opposite side isn't it so that's the reason why we will be having uh, the impedance triangle in this particular fashion so cos phi of this particular circuit if you uh, if for this particular figure if you carefully observe adjacent uh, by hypotenuse so you'll be getting cos phi is equal to r by z so very important conclusion this conclusion will be useful in power factor relationship that's the reason why i am showing this over here but these are important formulas please do make a note of it this will be very important to solve any number of problems with respect to series rc circuit connected to an ac supply so once this is done our next concept is with respect to current i have taken the phasor diagram that was already uh, drawn previously so this is very important to understand uh, the current relationship so from the phasor diagram uh, can we clearly say that i is leading v by an angle equal to phi so this is 
is the first important conclusion that we derived with our uh, phasor diagram so if you are considering v is equal to vm sin omega t as uh, the voltage so we can clearly say i is equal to im sin omega t plus phi the reason why it is plus phi is because current i is leading with respect to v so that's the reason why we will be writing omega t plus phi if it is with respect to uh, the current lagging behind v we will be writing it as sin of omega t minus phi so that's the reason why we have i is in this particular fashion so i m is nothing but v m by z this is according to ohm's law and phi can be determined by phi is equal to tan inverse of xc by r that is equal to tan inverse of 1 by omega rc so very important relationship if they ask you to find the current in a particular series rc circuit you have to use these relationships in order to uh, get the magnitude and the phase angle with respect to the current i so once this is done a uh, very important aspect is the waveforms how is voltage and current waveforms drawn with respect to this so it's very simple if you are considering voltage v is sinusoidal signal that is starting at some point current i is leading with respect to v so i'll be starting it much beyond this the voltage waveform that starts as a result phi will be indicated in this particular fashion that is phi is the angle between i and v so uh, initially current will uh, be the uh, current will be leading with respect to voltage as a result it is starting from zero in this case so once this is understood we will be looking at the power relationship so previously we derived how to arrive at the active power for a series rl circuit so similar relationship similar derivation is required in case of rc circuit as well the derivation i have not gone through it in detail you can refer to series rl circuit for the derivation part so active power is given by p is equal to vi cos phi that is equal to i square r so it is nothing but the actual power consumed in the circuit um, that is uh, consumed by the resistive element that is used in the circuit so reactive power q is given as uh, vi sin phi again this was uh, derived in our previous uh, video please do watch it so it is given by uh, formula i square into xc um, so we have substituted various values and arrived at these conclusions so uh, and uh, the apparent power is nothing but the product of voltage and current uh, complex voltage and current so you can write it as square root of p square plus q square as well based on uh, uh, a power triangle uh, that will be introduced later so apparent power s is equal to product of v into i so based on this we can write it as i square into z the reason why i am writing this is that these are important formulas that will be required in problems so reactive power is nothing but the circulating power that is flowing through that is nothing but the power that is not consumed by the circuit but it is flowing from one portion of the circuit to another that is capacitor stores energy and dissipates it uh, it gives it to another portion of the circuit so uh, as a result capacitor uh, power associated with the capacitor or inductor it will always be termed as reactive power so uh, combination of both active and reactive power is nothing but the apparent power it is also referred to as the total power in the circuit so any circuit that you are designing you have to take into consideration the reactive power the active power uh, for that matter so once this is done we will be looking at power triangle as i already told you s is equal to square root of p square plus q square so from pythagoras the theorem relationship we can write uh, s uh, in this particular fashion that is hypotenuse Yes, P is in the adjacent uh, side and Q in the opposite side. So from this, the cos phi power factor is nothing but P by S. Very important relationship in order to understand uh, the power factor relationship. So our next topic is power factor, one of the most important aspect with respect to series RC circuit. Anything with respect to uh, circuits like series RC, series RL, very important concepts are what is the current relationship, what is the power factor, what is the phase angle with respect to um, I and V. So very important. These are very important relationships so we'll be considering voltage triangle we will be considering impedance triangle um, so from uh, the definition of power factor it is defined as the cosine of the angle uh, of the phase phase shift between voltage and current so cos phi so with respect to voltage triangle if you carefully observe power factor is equal to vr by v that is adjacent by hypotenuse with respect to impedance triangle it power factor is r by z and with respect to power triangle it is p by s already shown here so these are very important relationship if they ask you power factor um, and they give you the value of r and z they don't give you the value of p by p and s or vr by v they only give the value of r r and z so power factor can be found out by applying this formula so we can establish power factor in three different forms that the reason why it is shown over here so very important and final conclusion with respect to series rc circuit is this in case of a series rc circuit the power factor is leading in nature since the current leads the voltage by an angle phi this was already 
introduced while drawing phasor diagram as well so power factor is leading that is very important so in case of a series rl circuit power factor is lagging uh, the reason why it's lagging it is associated the leading with respect to power factor and lagging is uh, explained with respect to the current so power factor is lagging there because the current lags behind the voltage power factor is leading here because current is leading with respect to voltage as a result it is stated as power factor is leading in a series rc circuit since the current is leading the voltage by an angle equal to phi so i leads v by an angle equal to phi power factor is leading uh, these are two important terminologies uh, and conclusions that we can draw from series rc circuit i hope uh, this video gives you a clear understanding of various behavior of series rc circuit when connected to an ac supply in case you have any questions feel free to reach out to me by typing in your questions in the comment section below if you like this video please do like it share it and subscribe to our channel for regular updates thanks for watching this video please do keep supporting thank you